What is going on guys, it's Iskarna here and today I'm going to teach you on how to get the maximum performance out of your graphics card. So this applies to NVIDIA graphics cards only, so if you're using an AMD graphics cards, I'm very sorry. Okay, so first things first, you need to have the NVIDIA drivers, so if you don't have NVIDIA drivers yet, you can download it on the link down below, I'll put it down for you. Okay, so once you downloaded and installed the graphics drivers, you need to right click on your desktop and then click NVIDIA control panel. Or you can also do click on this um, NVIDIA settings icon on the taskbar. Right click that and also click NVIDIA open NVIDIA control panel. Okay, so uh, let's just wait for that to load. Okay, guys, remember so we're trying to get maximum performance out of the graphics card and that we don't care about the quality and other uh, any other stuff. Okay, so we're gonna be only messing with this settings, 3D settings, and we don't care about other settings. So first things first, once you're here, let's start with the A adjust image settings for preview so once you're here i want you guys to click this use my pre pre preference emphasizing so by default it is uh, it is set on the quality mode so i want you guys to put this on the performance mode and click apply so be patient it, it will take a while okay so once that's that's done let's go to manage 3d settings so once we're here, I want you guys to copy my settings so, because this is the best settings that you will get out of your graphics card. So yeah. So ambient occlusion off, anisotropic filtering off, anti-aliasing FXA off, gamma correction on, anti-aliasing mode off, could of course all, DSR factors off, maximum pre-rendered frames one, um, multi-frame sampled AA off, power management mo mode click this to choose um, prefer maximum performance okay guys so if I'm going too fast pause the video and copy my settings you can always copy it you can always pause it and copy my settings okay if I'm going too fast for you so yes let's proceed and shader cache on texture filtering anisotropic sample blah 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 on texture filtering negative LOD bias allow Texture filtering quality high performance. So it will be set to quality on default. So I want you guys to click on that. Um, high performance. Okay, so texture filtering trailing your optimization on. Shredded optimization auto. Triple buffering off. Vertical sync off. So I want you guys to set this off. Okay, so virtual reality pre rendered frames one. And I want you guys to apply it. I apply the settings. So I've already done it. And yeah, so there's no apply button here. So yeah, I want you guys to click apply if there's an apply button here. Okay, so next next stuff is this configure surround and physics. So this this is very important settings and I want you guys to do this because this is very important. This is what makes day and night difference out of your performance of your graphics card. So by default it is auto select here on the physics settings. I want you guys to click this and select your graphics card, which is for me. GeForce GTX 1050 it will be different for you because you will have maybe you will have different graphics cards and yeah so after you've done that I want you guys to click apply and it will take a while just be patient there we go that's all you need to do and yes if this helps you out guys make sure to leave a like and subscribe that will help me a lot and also comment down below if this helps you okay so I would appreciate it a lot and yeah thanks for watching guys and I hope you have learned something today okay so that's it for today, and I hope you'll have a good day. Bye-bye, guys. It's Garner here, out. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.